At first glance, setting up Cablecast can appear to be a daunting task. As long as we break it up into little pieces, we'll be okay. The first step is to configure our general settings. Click on System Settings to get started. Locations is plain and simply your physical locations. Studios that have more than one head end will use multiple locations. For the purposes of this training series, we'll only configure one location. Click on Default Location, rename it to the name of your head end, and hit Save. Then back up to System Settings and go to Channels. A channel has already been created. Click on that new channel, then go to Channel Name to rename it, then Save. Click on Channel I.O. to confirm the primary location and output, then hit Done. Click on Interstitial Length to configure the space in between programs. This automatic spacing is useful if you want to switch to a Coming Up Next bulletin through Carousel. You can still program back-to-back -back on your schedule. Cablecast will automatically insert a specified time in between. Type in the desired time, or zero, for no gap, then save. We will cover the DSK and public site submenus in a later lesson. If you need to add more channels, head back to Channels and repeat the process for each channel. If you only have one channel, continue on to System Settings. Click on Control Module Hosts. This is where we tell Cablecast what machines are running control modules on themselves. If you're running Cablecast from an SX server, you will just use localhost. Localhost is already configured, so let's click on New to add a separate video server. I'll name it SX4, since that's the model of the machine. Type its IP address in the Host Address field. We will have to add any machine in the system running in the control modules. So if you have a VOD or Stream Live server, add them now. When you're finished, click Save. The time sync setting will adjust how often Cablecast synchronizes its time with other machines like the video servers. If you'd like to change it, simply enter a new time interval and hit save. Database tools is very similar to the database tools in front door, though it only allows you to back up your Cablecast database to the server. Simply click on backup to save to the database backups directory, then click done. System information doesn't contain any settings, but lists a profile of your Cablecast server.